Hello and welcome, Moonstone Crone here and Morgana. Welcome, welcome, my little gemstones. Um, lots of up and downs, uh, things going on here at the cottage, but we're not going to focus on that. We're going to focus on grounding and how we can do this in the winter months when we can't walk outside in the bare feet because it's way too cold and frostbite sucks um she's having her mommy moment yeah have your mommy moment <laughs> so grounding um grounding is uh, uh taking yourself and becoming one with your environment um usually that's done by taking a walk in nature mostly barefoot um and just allowing yourself to let everything go and and just let nature fill you with its energy um, it's about slowing down, um, taking, taking a breath, allowing our bodies to just rest. So there's key things. There's the key words, slowing down and rest. So winter, winter months, especially in the North, um, should be seen a lot as a time for rest. That doesn't mean those bodies who love to be out in the uh, snow, ski and sled and whatever it is that makes you joyful um, with your winter activities, um, shouldn't do that. You should, absolutely, because that's grounding. Um, when you allow your body to sit in itself in a happy place um, it relaxes itself so that's that's what grounding basically is is trying to get your body back centered now um, I've been listening to music all day so that's me doing some centering and getting back to my core and that helps do healing and that kind of thing. Um, and I don't have YouTube premium, so I have commercials and th that's okay, whatever. I, it's free then. I'm not complaining about that. Um, but there's a lot of ads now for all these uh, grounding pads and grounding sheets, and I'm sure they do work. But I'm not sure that we're supposed to be sleeping on those sheets all the time type thing. Um, it's just like with your gems, your gemstones and your crystals and things like that. Um, some of them are only supposed to be used as you need them, not used all the time. Like hematite can mess you up. Only use it as you need it, you know. Um, we don't take cough medicine unless we have a cough. So I think that that's the same thing. Um, I didn't hang around with those ads to see how much that stuff cost, but I'm like, no, whatever. Um, I know how to ground without having to buy all the extras. One is just finding a rock that makes me feel good and then holding that in my hands. Hold the rock in my hands. Or finding a bigger rock um, that uh, I can put my feet on, that I can still lift and put in the sunshine and let it get all re-energized and everything, and then put my feet on that. Um, working with my house plants, uh, listening to my music, um, using my symbols. 
um, to bring my focus back to the here and now, to remember to breathe, to relax, to rest. Huh. Speaking of breathing, and I think that's what it is all about. If for you, it's your tarot cards, having a sit down with your tarot cards and just having a question answered for yourself to bring you back to your focus, then that's what it is. Um, for other people who the weather is more pleasant and stuff, they still will be able to go out and walk and, and stuff and take a few minutes to ground themselves by putting their feet on the ground. And that kind of thing. Sometimes for kitchen witches, it's just simply going in the kitchen and, and cooking or baking. Um, and for artistic people, it could just be getting into the groove with a piece of art or that they're painting or they're crocheting or, you know, um, writing. Um, it's, I think grounding's more about taking that moment to just be, to just, like I said, stop, rest, relax. It doesn't have to be this big thing. I don't think we need to buy big fancy tools. No, we don't need tools for it. I think we just need to figure out what works for us and then run with that. Um, I think we have too much of media telling us this is how things should be when it comes down to each of us is a unique person, so we need to do things our way for ourselves. Because we're not all going to get to the same place the same way. Um, yeah, so so yes, things for grounding for me um, was definitely listening to music and having a bath. Um, mm. I'm a Gemini Cancer, and my two elements associated with that are air and water. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Look at this smile. Oh, you're happy? Mm -hmm. And so taking that moment to um, listen to music and get clean and relax really centered me. Um, and that, it helps a lot. Getting centered helps. <laughs> Cappy girl. <laughs> yeah. Mommy loves me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they smushy. Yeah, they smushy. So, yes. And I guess in... In a way, by giving yourself permission to take these moments to ground, to relax and rest, you're being kind to yourself, which is what this is all about. You know, being kind and being kind to yourself. Um, so yes, you know, take those moments to rest. It, you know, you uh, don't have to unkink yourself. I think um, I have been sleeping so much better since I put the foamies back on the bed. So that's not anything mag magical or anything like that. That was just knowing that for my fibro, I needed soft and squishy. Mm -hmm. Soft and squishy. Kind of like my grandma. Happy girl. Happy girl. Yes. Yeah, so peace, love, and happiness, everybody. And breathe. Relax so you can be grounded and centered. Bye. <laughs> Happy girl. Happy girl. <laughs>